So I want to talk about a number of ways to count things and what the basic principle of counting is. So say you had uh, two events here, like you wanted to flip a coin and you wanted to roll my crude drawing of a six-sided die. I don't think the, the dots would actually be like that on the die. Anyway, so let's say you, you flipped a coin and you rolled a die. And how many outcomes could you get with those two events happening at the same time? So we could uh, list out all the possibilities. Say I got a heads, okay, and I got a one. All right, and there's also the possibility that I got a heads and I got a two. Or there's a possibility that I got a tails and I got a two. And you could see you would write this out. And for this case, we could write them all out and that wouldn't be too bad. But say you wanted to roll 10 die and flip 100 coins, you wouldn't really want to write out all the cases and count them up. So, obviously, the point of this video, there's an easier way to go about this. We can just take the number of ways of the first event, so the number of ways that they can occur, namely a heads or a tails. So that is two possibilities. And the number of ways you can roll a six-sided die, namely one through six, and that would be six possibilities. And the way you do this is you just take, okay, the possibilities for the first event, namely two, and you multiply it by the number of possibilities for the second event. Getting ahead of myself. <laughs> so you just take the number of possibilities for the first event times the number of possibilities of the second event, and you will get the total number of possibilities for the two events. And 12 is the number we would get if we wrote out heads in one, heads in two, heads in three, heads in four, tails, and so on. So this can be generalized, and this is what we call the basic principle of counting. So the basic principle of counting says if we have one event that can happen n ways, that's like our, that's like our coin, and another event that can happen m ways, that's like our six-sided die, then the total number of outcomes is n times m. Okay, well, I hope it was helpful.